Hello and welcome to a new video made by Automotive Solution Partner, which is me, aka Ominimiku. And today I will be talking about the eGPT or GPT or whatever they call those two cables that we need to use to read in bench mode. Here we have a simple example. We're using Flex to read a EDC 16U34 from the VAG group using the GPT mode, the bench mode, as they call it. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, besides the classical connection of power negative and K-line, we have these two cables. They're always on the other connector, I don't know why. Okay, they're always on the connector to the left. There you go, there's one GPT. You'll see that the V-range says static null, I'll explain later what that is. But just so you guys see, basic example. Here we have another pinout example. You're more familiar with these photos. They come from DimSport, widely used on the clone PCM flash. It's basically the same. It points out where the GPT cable connections are. They're always basically the same two of them to the left on the small connector. Okay, so what is GPT and why do we love it so much? Uh, basically, this has been like a revolution for us because it makes our tuning lives easier. GPT is nothing more than the two cables you've seen represent the signals from the speed sensors from the camshaft and the crankshaft. Okay, so uh, let's say someone, I don't want to name the company, figured it out that if we simulate that the car, uh, rather the engine, is running uh, by cheating the ECU with signals to the hall sensors from the camshaft and the crankshaft, then the ECU must operate the flash or the MPC and the EPROM at the same time. So that's how we get access to the EPROM too, by cheating the ECU, telling her the car is running and then uh, the MPC makes the EPROM start functioning and then we get access to read it. Here's an example used by Flex. You can see on the pins seven and eight and nine, which is basically what we use for GPT. That's where our brown and white cables go. You can see it says uh, we have 3.3 volts and ground. It can actually go up to five volts. And that's how they cheat the signals in order to get access to the EPROM. Here we can see a basic example of a pull down hall sensor. You can see the resistor of one case between the five volts and the signal. And then there's another type, which, is the, which has the pull resistor between the signal and the ground. These are the most common. We also have a dual type and the adjustable air gap hall sensor. But all of them can be cheated with a pull-up resistor between the gr ground or the supply and the signal. So I think that's about it. I think I've explained everything. Uh, everything in short words, we are just uh, cheating the ECU that the camshaft and the crankshaft are working. So we get instant access to the EPROM. If you guys have any questions or any doubts, let me know in the comments. I will soon make uh, two more videos about like a general review of the Flex. I am not uh, supported by them in any way. And then I'll be making another one in which will be very interesting to see what happens when Flex fails. What happens when power cuts out or when communication data cuts out, when the USB is unplugged and so on. So see you next time.